Our crew are really excited about this one. The Powerful Owl project has found that the, the one reason we don't have more powerful owls through Melbourne is because there's not enough hollows, not enough breeding sites. So when we saw this, we jumped at the opportunity to try and save this trunk, save this hollow for that exact purpose. To be honest, we'd rather save a tree than take it down. But if it's hanging over someone's roof and it's falling apart at a rate that we can't control, then our last option is habitat. Hi, I'm Andrew McKernan from Melbourne Tree Care. So the client called us in initially to assess this tree. We found that the, uh, there was quite a few problems. Our suggestion was to not remove the tree, but just carve it back. We can carve hollows into the tree and increase endangered species nesting sites. First of all, we have to take the crown down off the tree. To rig this tree down safely, we've got rigging equipment, a friction device on the base of the tree over there. You see the rope going through that, through that drum. John's very slowly lowering that and the friction around that drum gives him complete control over the tree. Then when we go to carve the hollows, what we've got to do is take the face plate off. Then Lockie will get in there with a specially designed chainsaw and bar. And he'll carve out the centre of the tree, completely clean out a box inside the, the trunk of the tree. Once the box is complete, we put a face plate back on the tree so it doesn't even look like it's ever been carved. You can't even see where we've been working inside the tree. In that plate, we'll carve a small hollow entrance that targets the species we're looking for. So we might be trying to make homes for greater gliders, might be small as sugar gliders, might be lorikeets, Major Mitchell's cockatoo. Our crew are very excited about the work we do with Habitat Hollows. They're all very keen, committed environmentalists and um, they would much rather do habitat carving than a straight tree removal. So this is what we're here to talk about. This is a naturally formed hollow. Um, so Mother Nature's made this one. Would have been rotted out by time, weather, fungi, insects would have eaten this out. Even the birds themselves kind of carve them out as well. They would have come in here, see all this nesting material here. So it was definitely used. There might have been a few animals in here actually. So hollows are really important for our Australian native wildlife. Animals like the powerful owl um, that we're carving for today, it relies on hollows. So they can come into the suburbs, but they can't stay because there's like a housing crisis in the suburbs for, for wildlife. So if we get more hollows in our landscape, we can get more animals like powerful owls and yellowtail black cockatoos and hanging around in the suburbs. We just have to give them some habitat and some homes.